Hey Scouts, it's Experiment Manager Reza, and I'm here to show you a fun challenge you can give to groups of kids in your classroom. This experiment involves density, or how much stuff there is per space, and buoyancy, and we'll go ahead and teach both principles using boats. To test this experiment, I have here a bucket of water, some heavy-duty aluminum foil, and a bag of pens. Students will be given the same amount of aluminum foil for each group, and you want it to be a decent amount. I'm using this much for my example. The kids will want to get started immediately, but have them draw out a picture of their designs, especially if they're working in groups. It's always good to go in for lines. First, don't let the aluminum foil get ripped. Always fold the aluminum foil before you start, and don't make the boat too shallow, otherwise the boat will capsize too soon in the experiment. Now, I have a design right here, and it certainly looks like a boat, uh, but this design was a little bit involved, and I couldn't do it without the help of the internet. What we're looking for in this experiment is something more like this. It's not the most glamorous design, but you can see here I folded the aluminum foil first. I made sure that it's very, very high on volume while low on mass. It's not that much aluminum foil, but it's plenty to keep the boat afloat. And we're keeping the ridges high and folding them to make sure that no part of the boat is weaker than the others and that water can tip over and the boat will begin to capsize. That's what you're looking for in this design, and this is what you can expect from third graders to come up with. There's no tape and no glue involved. This is just aluminum foil. So I'm going to go ahead and go up this design now that we see that it floats, and we'll start testing immediately. But before I begin, be careful that when you drop the pennies, you don't make the impact too hard. You want this to be a test of weight, not the force of impact on the penny. Otherwise, you risk deforming the boat. So it's also fun to go ahead and count along with the kids to make it a more fun experience. Let's see how many pennies this boat can handle. And it sinks. So I went ahead and did a tally, and this boat took 131 pennies to capsize. So there's basically two things to take away from this. When you start dropping in the pennies, it might be worth your time to just count them in your head and put them in bunches at a time, because the boat doesn't move. The boat won't capsize within the first 50 pennies. After that, you might want to start counting aloud for the kids so it's fun of them. Another thing to consider is that the amount of aluminum foil I showed you at the beginning that made up this boat, you might want to consider using less aluminum foil. It'd make a smaller boat, which would work just as well. It just wouldn't consume as many pennies during testing. So thank you all for your attention in this experiment, and I hope your kids can beat my record when they make their own boats. Thank you.